I appreciate you coming back on. It's been a while since we've had a chance to talk. And um, recently, I know that you were sharing around a bunch of pictures of you giving a big old smooch to one of my favorite, like, conservative talk show uh, or talk, uh, you know, pundits, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. That's freaking awesome. I knew I knew he was coming to Australia. I'd like to, I'd like to hear a little bit about how that encounter occurred, and, and maybe a little bit a little bit about your adventure up toward that moment. Yeah, well, we're best friends now. Um, Milo, Milo Yiannopoulos uh, has been one of my favorite conservatives for quite some time. I think you're well aware of this because I don't shut up about him. He's not my, my most favorite, but he's certainly right up there in my top three. And um, so when I found out he was coming to Melbourne, I was super excited. Um, and I made sure that I was to get a meet and greet ticket. I didn't just want to sit in the audience. I wanted to like be able to meet him, hold him, hug him, touch him. So, and I got to do all of that. But um Getting there was actually very messy. Um, they they closed the roads off, and um, we didn't have a normal place to park um, upon arrival. Um, there were people shouting at us. Um, the the cops. There were so many cops. There was like the Australian police did a great job protecting um, the people walking in, but they only did a great job. I went to the second show. It was one of three shows that night. It was a Monday night. Um, the first show was at 7. The second show was at 8. The third show was at 9. So he did three shows in a row, which I didn't oh, like. Wow. It was so rushed because he did other shows around Australia and that didn't happen. Like there was a question and answer um, round and stuff like that. But because Australia, sold, he had sold out tickets and they wanted more, more shows, that was, I think, the, the best way he could figure out to, to do more. So he sort of did them in a row. So that's why there was no right. question and answers because um, usually you can ask him a question and he'll give you an answer. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit messy getting there. There were cops everywhere. There, were, there was a barrier of, 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 of human – it was a human shield of cops. And then there were people going, um, fuck you, fuck you, you disgusting cunts, he's a racist. Um, they were saying, um, fuck Trump, fuck Trump. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's – He's only a racist who loves big black cock. You know? And he's Jewish. So they're calling, us, they're calling us Nazis. I don't think people know what a Nazi is anymore because a Nazi is a person who lived in 1947, um, that time era, and who hated and slaughtered Jews. So he's the strangest homosexual married to a black guy uh, Nazi I've ever heard of. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Like, which means, you know, since he's white, clearly Nazi. I mean, that's easy to see, right? And his last name's Yiannopoulos, so he's obviously Greek <laughs> as well. So I, n nothing they say, <laughs> say makes any sense. Um, oh, come on. That would require some actual thought. Yes, which is why I have distanced myself from the left. Um, so that was, yeah, that getting there was quite messy, quite hectic. It was very rushed. Um But meeting him was awesome. The, the show was great. Um, he's actually released his video. Um, so you can actually, if you look at the video and you want to see me in the video, I'm 17 minutes in. So if you watch, if you watch Milo down under, um, he looks at me in the video. You can see him going, madam, I haven't even gotten to the punchline yet. Like, and he's looking at me and, and the camera's on me and I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm all He's deep. looking, he and looks he, so deep into my eyes. <laughs> he did look into my eyes. And then, um, I'm there from 17 minutes to about 18 minutes, 30 seconds. Um, because then he goes, very specific. It, it is, shut up. <laughs> That's how much I love him. And then um, he goes, he, I basically, I kept interrupting him, but that wasn't my intent. I just kept laughing. Even if, even if he wasn't making a joke, I was just like, <laughs> I was so giddy. Um, <laughs> Hadn't got to the punchline yet, madam. It takes a special kind of homosexual to be the most hated man on three continents. But I am, and that's only because I haven't been to Asia yet. Um, and then he goes, he looks at me and he goes, there's a lot going on over there. He goes, are you right? He goes, do you need a, he asked me if I needed a Xanax. And I was like, <laughs> I, was, I just kept laughing. There's a lot going on over there. You sure you're all right? Get you some Xanax or something. But um, something I'm sad about is that they interviewed me, they gave me an interview, and they, they asked me all these questions about why I like Milo, there was like a spotlight on me individually, they pulled me aside, and I've, I haven't released it, and I've been really excited that at some point they're going to release this interview, because I was randomly chosen, and they asked me questions like, oh, um, what, what is it about Milo that you think makes him an effective speaker, 
how did you come to, to find out about Milo? Um, just for Milo oriented questions, but I haven't right, right. seen that happen yet. But anyway, um, it, I had a lot of fun meeting him. Um, actually, because of the interview that they wanted me to do, they pulled me out of the line where I was supposed to um, meet him, do the meet and greet. So um, my meet and greet with him was so rushed. When I finally finished my interview, because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug my channel. I'm going to do everything I can in this, in this. So I chose to do that with the possibility of not having not being able to meet Milo, but then they rushed me back and then Milo was standing right there and I was just like, I was like this. I was like, oh my God. And then, and Fan then, girl all the way. Yeah, well, I put, he put his hand out to, to shake my hand and I just went, oh, but I just grabbed him and hugged him and he goes, oh, I think she likes me. And I was just like, <laughs> you can see the photo of me. I'm totally, I don't even look nice in the photo. I look like, because I'm wearing white, so that makes you look fat. And not only that, I'm like, I'm grabbing him like that. So I just don't look pretty at all in the photo. But I still post it. I still want people to see it as my profile picture. Um, <laughs> and I was, I was just like, and then they took what, the one photo and then they were done. And I went like, no, no, I said, everything today has been so rushed. I want another photo with him. I want to kiss him on the cheek. And he goes, oh, later, later. So then he went down like that and I kissed Aww, him on the that's cheek. Nice. He's very nice. But then um, if you look at the photo, he does not want me to kiss him. <laughs> Yeah, he, he looks like he's like repulsed but accepting of it all yeah, at the same time. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like this. Like oh, it's feminine lips on my cheek. I know. And I'm my, my sister wrote on my on my personal Facebook page. My sister writes, "He doesn't look like he wants to kiss." I'm like, I know. If I had a dick, he would have loved it. But yeah, hurry up, love. Hurry up, yeah. love. Get it up. <laughs> exactly. But all all of that aside, um, it was rushed. Um, and oh, also I probably should mention the fact that. Uh, when you when you buy tickets to a place, you get emails, but the emailing was so bad. They didn't email us the address of the, of the venue because the venue changed four times because every single place in Melbourne would say yes and then quickly drop out and say no because they were afraid right. of, the, of the rioters. So he ended up um, publicizing it on his Instagram and Facebook, and I was like, oh, that's just stupid. You don't publicize it so the rioters can go. Like, he should have emailed. He should have emailed the address and then then – I mean, maybe they, maybe the venues weren't, weren't worried about the rioters. Maybe they were just worried about being associated with Milo as well. But um, we, well, I mean, at the same at the same time, having having the rioters show up at a show kind of lends more credence to him too. So I mean, I I almost imagine because as as a provocateur, you kind of yeah. count on the rioters to yeah. show up, so you kind of want them to. Uh, I think you know, that's but, true. So uh, I'm I'm really glad you had a good time. That sounds like amazing, and yeah. um. Hopefully, at some point, I'll get to visit, you know see him and, and a number of other people country. I look up to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, right.